Hello everyone. So let's try to understand what is a thread and how we can create multi-threaded processes. For creation of multi-threaded processes in C programming, we can use pthread library. So in this session, we are going to use pthread library and primarily there are two functions which I am going to use is pthread underscore create and pthread underscore join. So let's first understand the behavior of pthread underscore create. A pthread underscore create, I have written the description here and the prototype definition of that. It is a function provided by pthread library, which is used to create a new thread. Okay. So a program is executing when we call pthread underscore create inside the program, it will create a new thread. Now, in order to call this, we need to understand how many arguments need to be passed. So, there are four arguments need to be passed, which I have highlighted here. So, the very first argument is of type pthread underscore t. Second argument is of type pthread underscore attr underscore t. Third argument is a, a kind of function or you can say subroutine, which is returning void pointer okay and which is which can have the argument as of void pointer type so third argument is a function return type of that function is void pointer and in case that function is taking any argument it should be of void pointer type and the fourth argument is of void pointer type because this argument we are actually passing to this function in case we are passing if we don't want to pass we can make it null Okay, so I have written here a pointer, the very first argument, pthread underscore t, which will be used to store the thread ID. So the very first argument, which is of type pthread underscore t, pointer type, it actually stores the thread ID. Then the next argument, which is of pthread underscore attr underscore t type, it is actually setting the attribute to the newly created thread. So if we don't want to set any attribute, we can make it null. So in that case, if we set the second argument as null, the default attributes will be used by the system. The third argument is a pointer to a function that will be executed by a new thread. And the fourth one is the argument, any argument, if we want to pass to the function that we can set otherwise it will be null. Now, once we create a thread, we use another function pthread underscore join. So, what is the role of the pthread underscore join? A function provided by pthread library. So, we need to include that same library. And it is used to apply a weight on the currently executing thread. So, that newly created thread first terminate and then the your original thread should terminate. So, it is used to wait for thread to complete its execution. So let's say a thread is having thread ID as thread1. We pass that thread1 here. If we want our process to wait for the termination of thread1. Okay. And in case the exit status of thread1 we want to store, we pass this argument. If we don't want to store the exit status, then this RAT well, which is of pointer of void pointer type we can make it null right so that is written here two argument p thread underscore t type that is the thread id and second is a pointer to a void pointer which stores the exist status of the thread right then p thread underscore join is called whenever it is will be called the thread is blog so the calling thread will be blog until the specified thread which we are mentioning like thread 1 until that thread completes its execution so we need to be very particular in calling the pthread underscore join whenever we call it the calling thread will be blocked for the execution of the thread which we are trying to join there okay if the specified thread has already completed then immediately the pthread underscore join can execute once the specified thread completes its execution, its exit status is stored in the location pointed by the void pointer. So in case you are passing any location here, 
the exit status will be stored there and later on if we want to print we can the joint thread in the terminated then the ter terminated and the resources will be available so after joining the thread will be terminated and in case any error will be there the p thread and s join will return the error okay so now let's understand with the help of the program how to use these two functions okay so as i have already written some sample code in the lab manual i'm just referring that so few of the codes i am picking from the lab manual only i'll put these codes in the description for your reference so let's open let's say uh, we are seeing lab experiment 6 and the very first example which i have given in the lab manual please check that so here what exactly we are trying to do here i have created one function which is having written type as void pointer okay so whatever the function you want to call inside a thread that the return type of that particular function should be void pointer okay the very important thing inside you can write anything if you want to calculate factorial write the code of factorial if you want to print hello world or write hello world and so on and if you want to exit inside this function after execution of this you want to exit the thread then you can call p thread underscore exit if you don't don't call this then also the thread will be exited right because after the execution of complete code of the function the thread will terminate right then here what is happening in main function in main function actually we are defining p thread underscore t type so let's say we are creating one thread so we are taking thread one variable and then there is a variable of void pointer type we are taking in case we want to pass this as an argument then we can take it now what we are doing here is let's say uh, this message in main thread so this will print this is the main thread and when we create new thread there will be printing in thread function okay so that we can identify which uh, message is being printed by either the previous or you can say parent thread or newly generated thread right then we are calling here p thread underscore create and here the thread id i am assigning as thread one okay and then the argument we are setting as null so we are using default argument to this particular thread default attributes and then we are calling this func so this func is defined here this function is defined here and this is the body of this function but we are not setting any argument to this function so this is null both are now then we are calling p thread underscore join so this original thread will wait to terminate this thread one okay and the exit status of this thread one we are storing in this a variable which we are using as having as void pointer so later on we can print it as a string the exit status so this is the simple code now let's execute this so if you compile this It is executed fine now uh, compiled and now execute dot slash a dot out now you can check it is in main thread in thread function exit thread function so if you check the code let's say if you check the code of this particular c program the code is like this okay if you apply some sleep or some something then these messages you can feel like after some point in time you feel like the messages are getting printed so maybe you can use some sleep of two second five second in main thread or maybe in the newly generated thread then the delay of the message printing will be there you can do it accordingly to your need right now the next thing if you want to pass the argument in the thread so what you can do is either you can update here or i have written another code also so let's see with the help of another code 
চলে আছে So now let's see here. I have write, I have written here very simple. Let's say hello. I want to print some hello kind of message. So I have written a function like hello. But inside this function, I am taking let's say i variable or any argument which is of void pointer type. Okay. Now when we are calling here inside this p thread underscore create, this is the thread ID, maybe thread one or anything you can take. Attributes we are setting in null, so default attribute we are picking and we are calling this function hello. This hello must have return type as void pointer. So it is having. Now when we are passing some argument, this function argument variable I have declared here. So fun argument and it is having let's say value 10 and it is of integer type. Now because of it is of integer type but this argument is expected as void pointer. We need to typecast this with void pointer. And because we are expecting their pointer, so we need to pass its address here. So m% fun underscore arg I am passing here. Okay. And I am typecasting with the void pointer. So that there should not be any typecast mismatch. Now everything is easy. If you can understand these four arguments which I am passing in p thread underscore create. Now p thread underscore join. If you want to store the status, you can use the status here. Otherwise, you can set this thing as null. Okay. So I'm storing the status and I'm printing the status, whatever the exit status of thread one is there. So this is the very simple code. Okay. I'll provide this code also in the description. So don't worry. Now let's execute this. Now when we compile it, it is compiled. Now we can run our a.out file. Now when we run it, it is saying, hello, this statement is printed by thread1. And the argument that inside thread1, we are printing this particular line. It is saying argument was 10. But that argument was passed inside the the main thread right so main thread is passing an argument and inside the newly created thread that argument is available as 10 and the return or exit status of the thread one was null so we are printing this exit status as null so you can check the code so just look at the code it is easy to understand and the output is also displaying on the screen right so i hope with this session you can understand the creation of thread and passing the argument to the thread okay so i'm closing this session in next session we will do some interesting thing with the threads okay so thank you for connecting